Hi chefs, welcome back to Close Kitchen. If you are new here, welcome to my kitchen. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make this mouth watering pan seared salmon. This is a very easy and extremely budget friendly meal for under $5. I have two packs of Pacific Salmon Fillets and they are a dollar each. As you guys know, we always make budget friendly meals on this channel between a dollar to ten bucks. So what are we going to use to make the salmon fancy and mouth watering tasty? For my dry seasoning, I have some onion powder, some Himalayan salt. You can use any salt of your choice. I have some garlic powder, my favorite seafood seasoning, Old Bay seasoning, and of course, let's not forget my homemade green seasoning. I have some cilantro, some white distilled vinegar, but you can use any vinegar of your choice. I have some lemon pepper seasoning to add some tangy flavor to the salmon. So in this bowl, I have some chopped bell peppers, green onions, and a regular onion. I also have one lime, but you could also use a lemon. I also have some olive oil, you can use any oil of your choice. The first thing I'm going to do is place both pieces of salmon into a bowl. I'm covering the salmon with some white distilled vinegar and I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes, then rinse it under cool running water. The good thing about it is that it is already scaled because trust me I do not like to scale any fish and that's so weird because I like to go fishing. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like to go fishing and what kind of fish do you guys catch. So let's marinate these salmons. I'm lightly covering the pieces of salmon with some onion powder. I'm doing the same with the obey seasoning. I'm also doing the same with the lemon pepper seasoning. I'm lightly sprinkling some Himalayan salt. I'm doing the same with the garlic powder. Next, I'm adding two teaspoons of green seasoning. Now I'm using my clean hands to rub the seasoning evenly on both sides of the pieces of salmon. So guys, this next step is optional. I'm adding some additional Obey seasoning as well as some lemon pepper seasoning. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite fish. Let's cook these salmons. I'm preheating some olive oil on medium heat. I'm adding my chopped vegetables and I'm giving it a quick stir. And I'm going to allow them to cook until they are soft and translucent while stirring them occasionally. My vegetables are ready, so I'm going to add my pieces of salmon face down. And I'm also going to add the marinated juice left over in the bowl. I'm allowing them to cook until they are brown, then I'm going to flip them to the other side. The aroma from all the spices and seasonings smells incredible. While growing up, I was always told when you cook fish, it should never smell like fish. So the seasoning and spices has to be right on point. I'm making sure to move the vegetables around occasionally.
My salmon is starting to get brown, so I'm going to squeeze half of the lime over the pieces of salmon. And you can see the lime juice sizzling into the salmon. I'm adding a few pieces of cilantro. I told you guys we was going to make this salmon fancy. And now it's time to flip the pieces of salmon. I'm going to allow it to cook until the skin is brown and has a slight crisp to it. I'm pushing the vegetables to one side of the pot so that it doesn't burn. And I'm squeezing the other half of the lime over the salmon. This is optional but I sprinkle a little bit of paprika. Let me know in the comments below how you cook your salmon. Do you grill it? Do you sear it? Or do you bake it? I'm going to flip each piece so that you can see the beautiful brown crisp color to it. And I'm going to cook it for less than a minute. I'm also going to remove the caramelized vegetables. So my pieces of seared salmon are done and they look like they're fresh off the grill which is exactly what I was looking for. Can you guys believe that this salmon only cost me two dollars? So let me know in the comments below what side dish would you serve with the seared salmon? I'm kind of thinking some baked potatoes or some type of rice so there it is guys my two dollars seared salmon i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and as always keep cooking chefs bye